Hey nature lovers, it's Kayla, and welcome to Nature Will Nurture. So today I have to do some deep cleaning in my plant room here. I'm seeing some plants that could maybe use some more light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to clear out some of these plants, vacuum the floor underneath, and do some rearranging. So I thought I'd do some of that footage for you and see where it goes. Thank you for watching. So just kind of doing a little scan here of how the place looks. It's a small room. The best light comes from underneath this grow light here. So these are like cacti and succulents up here and down here, a few down here. Um, they've been doing pretty decently throughout the winter, but um, some other plants need some more light like this Brazil. Um, where it's been hanging, there's no light from above, so I thought I'd hang it on the light so we get some top-down light, see what happens there. Somewhat of a circle here, I've got some storage underneath this table. Table's been a lot of storage, I usually have to clear it off if I'm doing videos or something. These are the plants that don't get as much light. I have a light there that I kind of swap where it's pointing because it moves around. This one is usually either pointed down or pointed up towards the plants at the top. But um, yeah, this side in terms of light is not as good. So that's why I feel like a little switcheroo to give these plants a little bit more of a boost. Find homes for these guys, because these are some new plants. Like I've got this, these Hoya obovadas here. My trellis over there, which I'm thinking I might get a little pendant light to go from here down to here and hang down to lay light down here. I'm not sure if I would want it to point all the way, like kind of here, and then move these lights up for the light up here, or have the pendant light up here, which might give some light to these guys there, and then move these this double lamp down further to splay down below, so. And I've got this little corner here. Yeah, I'm just gonna get to work. If you want a little bit more detailed of where things are that I pointed out before, I have a house plant tour, informal, where I'm watering, and then I just kinda come in here and talk. I'll link that above and below if you wanna check that out. So in order to vacuum, I had to move the plants out of the way. So that's what I'm doing here. And the larger plants I'm moving into another room. The smaller ones I'm just moving across the room. A new leaf on my Alocasia Regal Shield. So here I'm also inspecting the plants. You know, you need to inspect them for pests. I've recently had thrips and everything. In fact, I still have them somewhere in this room, so kind of keep up with that. So I'm just inspecting, making sure nothing is out of the ordinary. Also check for mealy bugs, scale, spider mites. I still have thrips in this room, so just checking. I'm gonna have to repot this baby. Come springtime. This is my orange bird of paradise. I believe it's Strelitzia reginae, but uh, yeah, I can imagine it's which will probably filled, have filled this pot. They have really thick root systems, and um, one part part of the soil is starting to be pushed up. So it's very interesting. What you may not know about me that I'm, I'm allergic to my cats and to mold and dust, so vacuuming can actually make me sneeze. I should be wearing a mask, but I'm not. And you know, you gotta do a little dance when the space is open. And then of course, fluff some leaves. So I vacuum this area, already placed this rubber tree there. Thought maybe that would look pretty good in the corner. So we're just making our way around. There's the whole mess of plants. Big ones are in the other room. Cool, cool, cool. Now this pothos is actually a plant from my grandmother. One of my OG plants. 
It used to be much longer, but outside took a beating of it over the summer. So I'm taking good care of it. Oh, and there's Frankenstein. Bonk! I just hit my head on those lamps all the time. Or plants. Sometimes I hit them on plants. The day of cleaning is over. So, chana masala time. Plus baked potato fries. Yum! And bam! We're on the ground. So I got distracted, per usual. This is the next day. Also, my battery ran out of life. So, well, both my batteries ran out of life. But I finished putting things away. Mostly, mostly everything's done. There's the vacuum, so I did back. Well, yeah, you saw that. I got the humidifier here, which I know I don't normally have, but it's pretty dry in here right now because uh, it's 10 degrees outside, probably even lower now. The sun's about to go down. So, also, I thought the humidity would be really good for this leaf. Did not unfurl because probably humidity but it's got another one coming out and I want that one to come out better. So hopefully being next to the humidifier will be nice. Um, yeah, so the background of my videos will probably change a little bit. Croton and coffee tree stay here though. They're important in the bird of paradise there. I switched my lemon lime there and my Brazil for the time being. You'll see a uh, more slightly more updated informal tour a week after this one is released, so. Yeah, I'd like to do the shelves, some of the shelves, so that's a couple bare spots there because I want to move some stuff from over the far side up, up there and down to here, so, yeah. So do I can't get anything done. She just crawled up me. She crawled up my leg and then crawled up my back. You drooling? She's a drooler. So today is mostly about the shelves. Rearranging the shelves and swapping out plants in order to make new homes, provide new light for various different plants. I'm also de-leafing some dead foliage. Checking for water and whoa! Let me just turn off. It's 5:30. This is one of my favorite plants to pet leaves on. It's a Peperomia incana. Here I'm swapping out um, one of my cacti and a euphorbia that hasn't needed water all winter. And I'm gonna move it to a low light spot just to kind of freeze it in time for another month or two until spring hits. Me, me, me. I can't get anything done. Gotta think some more. Think, think, think. February is a tough month. It's a long time with the plants going with a minimal amount of light. So I'm moving certain plants closer to the humidifier and inspecting some more for pests. Oops, I found something. When I'm placing my background plants behind me in my videos, um, I need something with height to fill out that space on the wall. So I move my euphorbia back. It's just a shelf down, but uh, it really helps fill out that space. It was getting dehydrated anyways, a little higher and closer to the light, so hopefully this will give it a break.
And then the other kitty comes. And also wants to see what's going on. <laughs> now the story behind the shelves, um, I originally actually wanted 10 inch wide shelves. These are actually eight inch shelves. Um, I got talked out of it by the guy at the store, but I sanded them, stained them myself, and I really like the look. Um, I think I would do things a little differently if I were to do it again, particularly wider shelves to fit more plants. So stay tuned for the informal tour next week and thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and follow me at, on Facebook and on Instagram. Have a good one.